Yes, Warriors. I'm back. I'm back like I never left. Let's go! You know what we're talking about today? We're talking about Captain America Civil War. Yes! Black Panther. Good shit, Marvel. Good shit. Spider Man. Good shit, Marvel. Well done. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Give yourselves a pat on the back. You deserve it. For those two characters alone. Okay. I'm going to say this. This is my spoiler free review. If you've watched the format of my videos, you know how I do things. I'll start off with a spoiler free review, which will last just over a minute. Starting from now. Movie. Captain America versus, uh, versus Iron Man Civil War. I would give this movie a easy 10 out of 10. Easy 10 out of 10. It is the most easiest 10 out of 10 I I could ever give a film since Guardians of the Galaxy. And this film is better than Guardians of the Galaxy and it's better than Winter Soldier. Free. Perfect 10 movie. Definitely go watch it. Iron Man is godlike in the movie. Captain America is godlike. Bucky is godlike. There's every single character in this whole movie gets a nine and a half. Yeah? The characters I'll give an absolute ten. Now the only reason I'm giving those characters nine and a half is because I have to create a I have to create some type of level. Yeah? Because the characters I'm going to give a ten are over a ten. But you can only measure it by ten. So Spider Man, ten. Black Panther, ten. Iron Man, ten. Bucky, ten. Captain America, ten. Spider-Man and Black Panther get a 10 plus. Godlike movie, definitely go watch it, you'll love it. Spoiler free review, done. You think that's long enough? I think that's long enough. Thanks for sticking around warriors, we're going to get into this thing. Now we're talking about the movie. Captain America Civil War Uncut No um, No All spoilers So if you don't want to hear spoilers You might as well End it now Just so we know we're all on the same page Because this, this is the Normal review yeah, Where spoilers are allowed Leave now if you're not Because I'm going to talk now And I'm going to say spoiler Just so we know we're on the right page Captain America beats Iron Man, blatant. It did not go down like that in the comic books, but we're waiting for the comic books. And the way they did it, I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah. Steve Rogers beats Iron Man, blatant. Blatant. It's a different type of fight. It's a different type of fight and I liked it. The movie was absolutely incredible. It had a beginning, a middle and an end. It had pacing and character development it the world it was like a superhero world but it didn't feel like a superhero movie it felt like fantastic things happened but nothing that i never felt i got drawn out of that film i watched that film in 3d imax the imax was mesmerizing but but the film was mesmerizing the 3d Nothing really blew my mind 3D wise. So I feel that you can watch this film in 2D and you're not going to be missing anything. You're not going to be missing anything. So whether you want to watch it in IMAX 3D or 2D doesn't matter. That's what I could see because nothing exactly came out of the screen. I didn't feel like I was dodging nothing or I was like trying to grab nothing or anything like that. So it doesn't matter what you want to watch it. IMAX 3D, 3D or 2D, doesn't matter. Movie is absolutely godlike. Marvel have proved us one thing. Give us Spider-Man, we'll do good shit with him. And they did. They did more work, more better godlike work with Spider-Man inside of 25 minutes than Sony has with Spider-Man in 10 years. And I think one of the main reasons that was, was because 
Spider-Man got to fight against other superheroes. He was fighting against Captain America. He fought against Black Panther. He's fought against Bucky, Barnes. He fought against Sam Wilson. He got to fight other superheroes. You got to see what's the work Spider-Man can put in against other superheroes. What happens when you see Iron Man and Spider-Man together? You got to see that shit. It was so sick. The interactions with the characters was godlike. The character had character development. Every single character meant something. Black Panther. Ah! Fucking sick. Fucking T'Challa! T'Challa! And we got Aurora Monroe in X-Men coming soon. We saw T'Chaka, the king of Wakanda. <laughs> Yo! Black Panther! Stop! Stop! I couldn't believe it. you saw Captain America versus Black Panther and that fight was sick. The fight was sick. You saw um, Spider-Man versus Captain America as well. That fight was godlike. Black Panther versus um, Captain America. It was a draw. Bucky versus Spider-Man. It was actually Bucky and Sam Wilson versus Spider-Man. And Spider-Man pretty much won that fight. He beat Bucky. He basically beat the two Captain Americas because Bucky Barnes and Sam Wilson, they're both Captain America in the future. If you read the comics, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go read some comics. Good shit's going on. So, it was, a, it was an incredible film, man. The chase, when it was like Bucky was escaping from the Avengers building and the Black Panther was chasing off the Bucky and Captain America was chasing after the Black Panther that was chasing after Bucky. That chase was ridiculous. That chase was ridiculous. These they were running faster than cars. They were running faster than cars. Oh my god that film was ridiculous. And Ant Man Ant Man was Ant Man was Fucking sick! Like Ant Man was wicked when he went into like Godzilla mode or Ultraman mode. I was like cracking up and enjoying it, and it was like a B movie. The way he was like, and it took like all the Avengers to like team up to beat Ant Man because he was in like giant form. Sam Wilson, they made, they gave that character a bird because he's a Captain America. He's a future Captain America. We, you got to show us why this guy in the future. What is his, the potential that allowed him to become Captain America? We see that. <coughs> Spider Man put in work. Scarlet Witch put in work. Thank you, Marvel, for giving us back the Black Widow again. Natasha Romanoff. That bullshit. That stain that you put on her from Avengers 2. Thank you for getting rid of that because you finally did. Now we've got Natasha back. Proper Natasha. Iron Man. Proper Iron Man. Not that bullshit from Iron Man 3. Iron Man 1, absolutely godlike. My top, if I was in my top five Marvel movies of all time, it was Captain America with Soldier. That's been relegated to number two now. Number one is Civil War. Perfect 10 out of 10 movie. That film is a perfect 10 out of 10. My number one Marvel movie of all time. Number two, um, Captain America Winter Soldier. Number three, Iron Man. One. Number two, number sorry, number four, Guardians of the Galaxy. Number five, Blade. Two. Those are my top five move Marvel movies of all time. And not only that, but Captain America Civil War is actually a god-like movie. I just don't know how they managed to do it, man. Like, the film just didn't disappoint me. It didn't disappoint me. Like, there's so many things that I felt they could have got wrong, and they didn't get wrong. They got nothing wrong. Every single characterization was immaculate. The one thing that blew my mind the most, the two things that blew my mind the most was T'Challa and Peter Parker. I am 
amazed at how incredibly well they managed to get those characters. It, it's actually blowing my mind right now thinking about it. The movie, the fight scenes that film were incredible. The, the story was marvellous. The cinematography, fantastic. The, con the, the um, continuity of every scene linking together, making a whole big picture was just as clear as day. Nothing didn't make any sense that film. I didn't question, I didn't really question anything in that movie. And I know if I watch that movie again, I am going to see new things that maybe I've missed. I only just watched it last night. I had work today, so I wasn't able to do it. So I'm trying to, I'm going to try to finish up since I finished this. I'm going to upload it. And today is the, what is today? The first. Today is the 1st of May, so we'll see if I pull it up by the 1st of May, if I don't, then I'm slacking. So yeah, I want to hear what you guys got to say, I thought the movie was absolutely incredible, every single character in this movie was incredible, Iron Man is back on form, they also blatantly have told us in this movie that there's going to be an Iron Man 4, Iron Man 5, Iron Man 6, because Iron Man essentially says, forget Iron Man 3, that shit was garbage, Pepper Potts is gone. I didn't, I'm not really going to destroy my robot. That was a moment of madness where I destroyed all my robots. And I said I was going to like get married and just go away with her. Moment of madness is over now. I'm back. That's essentially what Tony Stark said in this movie. Although I was Team Captain America, yeah, I fucking loved Iron Man in this movie. I didn't like what he was doing, but I liked the reason he made the choice. I like that the fact that he made the choice because of what he did and then the fact that it went from a political reason which was we people are getting hurt because of our actions we have to take accountability and we have to we have to let the world know who we are because we are causing a lot of damage we're saving people but we're causing too much damage on the other side, it turned out because there was like a revelation near the end where Bucky killed Tony Stark's parents to steal the super soldier serum. Then it became a personal matter. But then even though it became a personal matter, it got resolved quickly. And it got resolved quickly and it made sense. You never thought like, this is bullshit. This don't make any sense. No. Everything, the puzzle just, it was perfect everything made sense everything gelled together and for that i could only give marvel the russo brothers a round of applause say thank you and keep doing good shit keep doing good shit i want to hear what you guys got to say warriors as i said spider-man incredible iron man incredible bucky barnes incredible sam Wilson incredible everyone was incredible everyone even ant-man everybody was i would give everybody a 10 out of 10 but I have to create some type of level. That's why I give everyone a, a nine and a half, and certain characters got ten. Like Spider-Man and Black Panther were a ten plus. Captain America, Bucky, Iron Man, War Machine, Scarlet Witch, those type of characters, they get a ten. So always want to hear what you guys got to say. Thanks for tuning in and watching and Let's talk, man. Okay, warriors. Stay tuned. Later.